All right, I um, it's Sunday. Hurricane Helene obviously has already come through. I'm I'm testing something because there's my main generator, my big one right there, that will power two air conditioning units. I use this air conditioning unit right here. It's a 10,000 BTU air conditioning unit, and it worked. It worked. However, it was tripping it was tripping the GFCI socket right here it was tripping that um, when I had it down lower when I had it down lower to like 74 75 degrees um, when I raised it back up to I raised it back up to like 83 and then slowly brought it down to 78 and it wouldn't it wouldn't trip and it was enough to keep the whole living room cool. It worked, it was fine. But I don't like that. And I'm thinking the reason why is because I am using 14 gauge extension cord and it's like 100 feet. So I went out and I bought a 12 gauge, 12 gauge, 50 foot cord. I'm thinking that's what the problem is, but hey. While everything's set up here, I might as well te uh, let's test it out. Let's test it out and see if that's what the problem is. Because there's another hurricane coming and it's forming in the same spot as Helene. Doesn't mean it's coming here, but it may. And I've got to get this sorted out. I want this sorted out. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to plug this in. We're going to hook that up. We're going to drop the temperature low and see if it trips. And I will report my findings. We're gonna start this off slow, 84. It should not trip at 84. It wasn't tripping at 84 when I was using it before for 14 gauge extension cord wire. So I don't expect it to trip now. Let's let it run a little bit. All right, it's still holding, but that doesn't mean anything because it was holding at 78 when I had the 14 gauge extension cord so it's at 81 let's take it down 80 79 let's let it sit there for a while should be good all right let's take her down to 77 77 all right let's take it down let's take it down to 76 I'm going to take it down some more here. 75. All right, let's take it down to 74. Now, it was definitely tripping at these levels with the 14 gauge extension cord. so far so good this is good even at 74 I mean it all right we're gonna take it down again here 73 it's already good I mean 74 that's good but let's see I think we could take this thing down all the way we want now with that cord it's I think that's what the problem was Okay, 
that's definitely what the problem was on Friday God everything's so dirty and nasty from all the rain I got to get out here and pressure wash so um after Helene I was out of power so this was what now Friday Friday I hooked this up I hooked the air conditioning up and I was using this 14 gauge wire okay it's 14 gauge wire extension cord and it it was tri I had that set at 74 75 and it was tripping that plug and yeah it's because the it's it, you have to use 12 gauge 12 gauge and this is long too this is like 100 feet so evidently the longer the extension cord the more it kind of diminishes the electricity flow into it you may all know this but i didn't know this okay and the reason why this is important is because when you go to like home depot or lowe's to get stuff they have typically they have generators which i've had this generator for a while they have generators out there to buy and then they'll have the extension cords right there with the generator like on top of it like here's your cord too look man they're do, they're putting the 14 gauge extension cord there okay and that's going to be fine to run a refrigerator it'll work i was running the i was running the 14 gauge over there to run the refrigerator it's not good enough for a window unit it is not okay so just get to 12 gauge this stuff is for this just get to 12 gauge extension cords it's critical that's it. I'm going to post this video. What I'm going to do actually next, I have that generator. I have a smaller generator. I'm going to bring that around. It should run that wind, that window unit, but I just want to verify it. That one is really, the other one's for my camper, but I use that on the side of the house for my refrigerator because it's all the way around there. And to run my pump for the sewage. I don't, we, have, we have city sewage, but we're below the street level. And it fills up and has to be get pumped to the street. So that's why I have that one set up for over there to run the refrigerator in the garage and to run that pump so we can still use the bathroom. I'm going to pull that around just so I know. And I'm going to see if that one will run the window unit, which I'm pretty sure it will. But I just want to check it. Everything's already here set up. Let's do it. See if it works. All right. So this is my smaller generator. 4,500 watts inverter so it's a lot more quiet uh, it should run that it's okay if it doesn't because that's not what I got it for but it's nice to know that it will do it so let's uh, let's start this up and uh, see if it runs it Let's go in here. All right, let's see if it'll run it. Oh, it's not doing as good of a job, I'll tell you that. It's taking a while to get going here. I don't think it's running it. All right, I took it off eco mode. No, it's not running it. Huh. All right, well, good to know. Won't run it.